diagnosed with a terminal illness and that it will eventually lead to your death. Would you consider physician-assisted suicide? What is physician-assisted suicide, you may ask? Well, my name is Maria and I'm here today to speak about physician-assisted suicide as a form of euthanasia. I can speak on this topic because I have done research for this class and another class here in Fresno State. I will be covering what euthanasia is as a form of, in the form of physician-assisted suicide, where it is legal and the laws behind it, and how it takes place in a medical setting. In order to understand what physician-assisted suicide is, we must know what euthanasia is and the main categories of it. Euthanasia is the practice of intentionally ending a life. According to Angela Morrow from her article, What is Euthanasia? Euthanasia, published October 12, 2018 on Very Well Health. Two main categories are voluntary euthanasia, involuntary euthanasia. Um, so voluntary euthanasia is when both the physician and the patient have con consented to ending the patient's life or to helping aid um, the patient's death. And involuntary euthanasia is causing death in violation <coughs> of the patient's consent. So this would be kind of like murder. Um, so physician-assisted suicide would be voluntary in its active form. This is because physician, the physician prescribes the lethal medication and the patient administers them to themselves. This is a controversial issue and the practice of it has not yet been completely accepted in the US. As mentioned in ProCon.org, states with legal physician-assisted physician suicide last updated on July 9, 2018, there has only been seven states that have legalized physician-assisted suicide as well as Washington, D.C. As you can see up here, the states that have legalized um, physician-assisted suicide are highlighted in a darker shade of blue. These states include California, Colorado, Hawaii, Montana, Oregon, Vermont, and Washington. So in or order to be eligible for this service, you, might, you must be 18 years or older, resident of that state, and capable of making and communicating healthcare decisions. And you must be diagnosed with a terminal illness that will lead to your death within six months. Physici <coughs> and you must be physically and mentally capable of administering the aid and dying drug. The only exception to this is Montana. In order to be eligible in this state, you must first request a court hearing and the court must approve. So how exactly does it take place in a medical setting? There is a protocol on the request that must be followed by the patients. So for example, here in California, the patient must first request, well, must first ask for an oral request to the physician. 15 days after, they must submit a second oral request. This would be followed with a written request to the physician. As reported by Timothy Quill and Bernardo Suzman, director and member of the Palivation Care Program, on their web publication, Physician Assisted Death on the Hastings Center, once the once the request has been approved, the doctor will prescribe lethal medication. So this is either in the form of pills or an injection. <coughs> Euthanasia in the form of physician-assisted suicide is a complex process, but it is an open option for those who are terminally ill. What, euthan what euthanasia is, um, what I have covered today is that euthanasia in the what euthanasia is in the form of physician-assisted suicide, where it is legal and the laws behind it. I've also covered the process in a medical setting. So I finally ask you, if the circumstances in your life ever made physician-assisted suicide an option, would you pick it? Thank you, and are there any questions? <coughs>